Hello, this is Scott, and this is the Hyper Report. Here are the quotes for various items. First, Chinese economy. Chinese imports have now fallen for 15 months in a row, and the second largest economy on the entire planet appears to be in the process of imploding. China's exports fell 11.2% on year in January, while imports declined 18.8%. Next, bigger than 2008. According to Bert Dolman, founder of Dolman Capital Research, it is time for investors to panic because he believes that the majority of stocks will be selling at $5 or less. Unlike 2008, every major economic zone in the world is in financial trouble before it hits the fan, and that is why it will be much worse when things go south. Next, even the Fed. Not only is the Cleveland Fed warning of significant stress in the financial markets, now the St. Louis Fed is growing increasingly fearful of recession. The last time that there was significant stress in the financial markets, the Fed unleashed QE1 and Operation Twist. Next, jobs reports myth busted. The jobs report that relies on statistically interpolated and seasonally adjusted data and official treasury tax receipt data from tax withholdings are at odds. While we are told that the employment picture is improving, tax withholdings has dropped 1.8% in the past five weeks. Next, student loans and guns. One trillion dollars in unpaid student loans is up for grabs by private debt collectors who have teamed up with law enforcement to make a show of force during bill collection operations, and this is where it gets crazy. Just imagine debt collectors with armed SWAT teams showing up at a person's house demanding payment for their unpaid loans. Next, Victory Trump's crimes? While Hillary may have narrowly won the Nevada Democratic primary, it turns out that there were at least 1,730 classified emails on Hillary's unauthorized server. The State Department claims that none of the emails were marked classified. However, there is evidence that Hillary ordered the markings removed before the classified material was sent in the clear for the Chinese and Russians to read. Next, socialism destroyed Venezuela. Many say that the price of oil was the cause for the financial destruction of Venezuela's economy. However, socialism, which Bernie Sanders wants for Americans, was the cause. Margaret Thatcher once said, The problem with socialism is that you eventually run out of other people's money. It was true then, and it is true today. Venezuela's corrupt government socialism with the so-called emergency measures predate the oil price drop. Finally, please prepare now for the escalating economic and social unrest. Good day.